Okay, so I just came back from the shop. By the way, can we just admire the drip real quick? Can we do a quick drip check? No quick drip check. No quick drip check. Got the the Deckard Deckard T-shirt full of holes. Deckard T-shirt. Got the motherfucking uh, what's it called? Dressing gown. Got the dressing gown. Got the motherfucking trench coat. Got the Got the motherfuckers, got the motherfuckers, got the motherfuckers, got the motherfuckers, you know, drip check, drip check, you know what the fuck it is, bitch. Anyway, just got back from the shop, getting what I needed to get, you know, getting what you need in your life, get a couple things you need in your life, and uh, I thought about, while I was walking there, I was thinking about how um, there's been many clips of very little consequence clips of little consequence that I've been recording but I haven't been recording um anything of consequence so this is gonna be hell to edit because I have a fuck ton of clips most of them say very little and aren't very good so either I edit them down to the tiny bits that are important or I just film something else to explain stuff I don't know what I'm gonna do with this fucking video I have no clue it's probably not gonna be a very good video so I thought I'd just give you a summation basically a lot of things I have a lot of things but none of them are really very consequential so I'll just I'll just do one big clip where I talk about all the things and I don't know how this is gonna turn out but let me get a fucking beer first for God's sakes for God's sakes why do they build these things so hard to open with one hand it's like they don't expect you to be filming a vlog while you're fucking opening it isn't that just ridiculous so What's happened today? Well, uh, woke up at 1am ish, uh, woke up, checked my news boat feed instead of YouTube, and it worked perfectly, it worked flawlessly. Um, there's one thing I could change, but I'm gonna do it now. So I'm not, there's not even any point in talking about it, because I'm just gonna do it. So, never mind. I'm, I'm gonna make it so that it automatically is like updating in the background so I don't have to spend ages waiting for my feed to refresh when I want to check YouTube. Anyway, so there's that. I checked my YouTube, the, everything worked. It was great, everything worked. Um, I wasn't struggling, didn't have to load up a web page, just open my fucking RSS reader. It was great. So that's all sorted now, which is good. Um, secondly, then I finished uh, Koi Ni saso koi ni kanmi o sasowarete. No. Koi ni kanmi o sasowarete. Love sweet garnish in English. Um, I finished the I finished that today. Well, technically, I haven't watched what the after story of uh, Risha's route, but that does looks like five. Oh yeah, I basically finished it. It's just porn. I'm not. I'm not interested in. Don't don't read Elge. I read Elge for the plot, then you know, right? So that was pretty good. Problem is, it's I don't really have anything to say about it. Like a lot of times, I could finish a VN, make a whole video about that, like reviewing it. But it's there's not really much to say about it. It's just it's just like any slice of life, anything you've ever seen. It's very good for a Dojin game made by an independent studio. The art, particularly. A lot of times, Dojin games don't have very good art compared to the professional studios. Whereas this one, really good art, even better than some I've played from, like, real established visual novel studios. Very good. Especially for a first game for this that this studio's made. Very impressive. Recommend if you want a nice Mori game to, to play that's, like, nice and short. Okay. Uh, so that, that happened. Now, I figured out that I can play... Visual novels while playing CSGO. I thought that it would be too laggy, but it's not too laggy, and this is a great way to consume visual novels, but it also means that I've been playing a fuck ton of Counter-Strike. Um, and I, I have to say, I had so much fun playing Counter-Strike today. I'm gonna go back to it after I record this, but I've had so much fun playing Counter-Strike today. Uh, I've really fallen back in love with the game, I suppose you could say. Like, I, you know what? This is, okay, fine, we're doing this. We're doing this. <laughs> We're doing this. Okay. I've really, I mean, not that I really ever fell out of love with the game, but I just had so much fun. I just, there was a moment today when, what happened? I'm trying to remember exactly what happened. There's a few moments today, 
But one of them, for example, I was playing on Nuke, and uh, I often will do a thing. If I'm orping, because I'm an idiot, and I just rush in, no matter what, and I'm not thinking. I just, I buy an orp, I rush, you know, do the movement thing. We go from T-spawn up the ladder and do the special movement to go to silo quickly, jump down silo, and jump down from silo and hit the surf to get into main with my orp, thinking... I can I can orp the guy there, go in, as a guy behind me, start shooting, I spin around, whoosh, no scope, misses, right? And then I'm like, I have no chance of killing this guy before I have, uh, you know, the next shot's ready in my orp. So I'm just like, thinking of a funny thing to do. And I do this often when I'm, when I'm in this sort of situation, where I just throw all my weapons at him. I just throw them, I throw my orp and I throw my pistol at him. Just because I think that if I was killing someone and they knew they were going to die and just threw their weapons, that would be a funny thing to happen. So I like doing that. Just throw my weapons away because I know I'm going to die anyway. And I do this all the time. But this time, he saw me throw my weapons and he just, he just stopped. and <laughs> just sort of looked at me for a second. And so I was like, fuck. And I quickly sprinted backwards around the corner running away. Got my Zeus out. He comes around the corner and I fucking Zeus him. I don't even have a weapon. I know it's not like I don't have a weapon in my hand. I don't even have a weapon. He comes around the corner and I Zeus him. And his friend comes around the corner trying to knife me. I knife him once and he gets me. And I was just like, this is the most fun it's possible for a human being to have. For me to have. Like, that was the most fun I can possibly have. Is like, a, a fucking something like that happening. Or um, earlier in the day when I was playing on Castle Vera, I think it's called. One of the new Wingman maps, which is... Fast, quickly becoming one of my favourite maps. Possibly my favourite wing map. Definitely my favourite wingman map. Um, I was playing on that. I had a really fun experience where I, I just schmooved on someone. I literally out schmanoeuvred someone in like the most amazing way. It's very hard to describe, especially because uh, uh, I don't know the, I don't know if there's callouts for that map or anything like official callouts, but um. I, I sh out maneuvered someone in a very literal sense, where I literally made a, in a very skillful movement, a few jumps, very efficient movement, very fast movement, and the guy just didn't know where the fuck I was, because I, I just sh maneuvered and read like five fucking steps ahead of him. And on, again, again, same fucking map, like one of my first games I played, on the same map, I just game sense war hacked. My game sense was so fucking impeccable that I just, something in my mind just told me there's a guy on the other side of that door. And so I just spam the door, headshot him, he types in chat, question mark, question mark, question mark, wall hacks, report it, right? If that happened to me, I would 100% report someone for wall hacks because, like, why would you spam? It wasn't like I was spamming, like, loads of, but I literally just, like, turned around, blah, 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 dead. Headshot as well, not like a, a a few little tags, but like I literally was walking by the door, stood there thinking like, you know what? I think he's gonna be there in like three, two, one. Turned around, three shots, bam, bam, bam. Last shot, headshot. He's dead. He's like, what the fuck? And I'm like, game sense, bro. Fucking game sense. And that's like such a cool experience when you when you're just like, yeah, I can read the other people. Yeah, I'm basically just a god who just knows things magically like I just knew there was someone there just pure game sense what even is game sense it's impossible to know like I don't know especially on nuke because I'm so familiar I've just played like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours of nuke so I just have insane game sense on nuke like I can just with even if someone doesn't make a step I know if they're fake diffusing or not I just know where everyone is on the map at all times I'm just like a god I'm a god of game sense and I'm a god of movement I'm not a god of movement, but I'm pretty damn good at movement. Like, I'm... For someone who doesn't do K KZ, which if you don't know is, like, parkour maps, for someone who doesn't do that, I'm very good at movement in CSGO. Like, for someone who only practices in competitive and doesn't do that, I'm very good at movement in CSGO. The only thing I'm bad at is aim and spray control. But it also turns out that no matter how good you are with game sense and movement, if you can't fucking hit a target, then you're fucked. So, so it doesn't work out that well for me. Uh, I think my aim is particularly bad because there's um, input lag on my computer, which I have no idea how to get rid of. Apparently it's a known bug on Mac that they'll never fix because almost no one plays CSGO on Mac. And it's not exactly their highest priority. So 
I just have to deal with a bit of input lag. That's my current theory as to why my aim is so bad. Um, I mean, my aim is sometimes good, but it's my spray control that's really, really bad. Like, I'm, I have never figured out how to have good spray control. I'm just not good at it. No matter how much I practice, it seems like I never improve with spray control. Um, which is really bad. Like, that's a very important key skill. No matter how good you are at movement and game sense, if you can't fucking aim... Keep keep your crosshead trained. If you're, if you're shooting at someone and your bullets aren't hitting them, then you're not going to win their fights. Like, there's times when I will just completely destroy someone. It's like, yeah, I'm, I know exactly where you are. I know exactly what fucking entrance you're about to come out of. I fake planted. I heard a footstep in this particular quadrant of the map. And I know that you would only be over there if you were going to come through double doors. So I'm going to plant here. Fake plant, stare at double doors. I know you're coming through double doors. You have no idea where I am. You think I planted back site, right? Because that's where everyone always plants. But no, I planted open in front of double doors. I know you think that, so I know you're going to come out uh, pre aiming at back site because that's where you think I am. But I'm not. I'm going to be standing in a different zip place looking straight at you when you come out of double doors. And that exact circumstance will happen, and then I get shot because I can't fucking aim. That, like, that, that sort of thing happens to me all the fucking time. I don't know why I'm so bad at spray control. I just have no idea. I, I practice. I use practice maps. I shoot against walls. Practice, I just, I don't know. I've never figured it out. Like, I just never figured it out. So, I had loads of fun playing Counter-Strike today. And yesterday. The visual novel was pretty good. Just started uh, Magi... Magikoi? Uh, uh, Magide Koi... Sh sh fucking hell, oh, fuck that. Um, <laughs> started Magikoi, already love it. I'm like five minutes in, it's already fucking hilarious and a great, interesting atmosphere. Um, so that's going to be great. I'm very excited to read more of Magikoi. Uh, and then... Uh, in addition to that, that's pretty much it, I would say. That's pretty much what I've been up to. Uh, I thought about recording some music today, but I just, instead of recording anything, I just sort of jammed on my bass for, for a while without recording anything. That's fine. That's fine, too. I consider that a part of everything, because it's kind of like practice, exercising the creative muscles in your mind. It's all okay to me. Um, and, uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything really else to mention that's happened today. Oh, I remember. This is one thing I was going to talk about. Today has been a series of unfortunate food events. Today has been a series of unfortunate food events. Um, I've made two meals so far today. I'll have my third meal uh, maybe in an hour or so, a couple hours, I don't know. I'll have my third meal at some point. Maybe I won't, maybe I'll just have two meals today, who knows. But um, both meals that I've cooked today have, have gone wrong in some sense. So. I cooked chicken for breakfast because here's what happened as I woke up, I looked in the fridge in my bleary half away state, awake state, and I thought, food go in oven, what go food, where food, and I just grabbed the first thing I saw, which was some chicken thighs, I just turned the oven on, shoved them in the oven, they were frozen, they were half frozen, the chicken thighs, right? Now I've never cooked chicken thighs from frozen before. Um, they, uh, they must have been taken out of the freezer the night before because they were still like half frozen. So I put them in the oven and I'm going on the internet like, can you even cook chicken from frozen? Like, will, you, will I die? So I go to, I, I go to Google that. Um, after I've already put the chicken in the oven and seasoned it and everything, so a bit late, but I go to check and, and on that article it says, yeah, you can cook chicken from frozen, it's fine. Um, when, remember, when you're cooking chicken from frozen, Add 50% of the time on top of it. Now, I was going to cook these chicken thighs for half an hour, 25 minutes to half an hour. Basically, I, the point is, because they were frozen, I didn't know how to judge the timing, and I overcooked it. I overcooked the chicken thighs. They didn't want burnt, but they were dry and overcooked. And the other thing is, that I wasn't fucking thinking about what I was going to do with the chicken thighs, so just have a bunch of, like, overcooked dry chicken thighs. I don't know what I'm... I haven't thought of a meal, like, that's not a meal, that's just a bunch of chicken. <laughs> like, I didn't think this through at all, so I just have a bunch of dry chicken thighs, which are overcooked, and, like, they just have salt on them, they don't even have pepper, and just salt on them. I'm like, what the fuck am I gonna do with this? As so I'm like, fuck it. I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm on, at this point, I'm really hungry. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm just gonna make a dipping sauce, and eat them like chicken wings. You know, just dip them in the sauce and eat them. So I make a dipping sauce, that goes fine. The dipping sauce goes okay. Um, 
very spicy, but delicious. Because uh, I put goju jang in it, so it was quite spicy, but it was good. Um, but yeah, so I just ate a plate of fucking chicken thighs, <laughs> like six chicken thighs, and then I was like, I should probably have some vegetables as well. So I just made some spinach. So just a blob of spinach, like six chicken thighs and a dipping sauce, like an, a vaguely Asian dipping sauce. It was a very strange meal, it wasn't very good, because uh, it was mostly just dry chicken thighs. Um, yeah, it was odd, it was odd. So that was the first failure. And then later on, I'm like, I'm gonna make a tamagodon, right? If you don't know, tamagodon is, it's basically rice, like a bowl of rice with like a, a Japanese style omelette on top and to make a Japanese style omelette you need to make put flavors in the eggs to make it Japanese style the key ones being soy sauce and mirin now I just assumed I had those ingredients it turns out after cooking the rice and checking I do not have those ingredients nor do I have short grain rice the correct type of rice to make Japanese food I only have basmati and I guess I have risotto rice but that's not really good for this so uh, I have basmati rice, and then I have eggs in a bowl, uncooked eggs in a bowl that I haven't done anything with, but I don't have any soy sauce or mirin or, or anything really Japanese. So I'm just like, what the fuck am I going to do now? I've already cooked the rice. What am I going to do? And I think back to all my years of watching Japanese things, and I'm like, you know what they do in Japan? They just crack a raw egg. They just crack a raw egg in the rice and mix it up and eat that. Now, I find raw egg whites disgusting. I can eat raw egg yolk. That's fine to me. But raw egg whites are, t are, are too much for me. Um, and so I'm like, well, I'm not going to put it raw. But what if I just fry the eggs so they still got a very runny yolk just to harden the whites? Nothing, n not even really necessarily cook them to the point where I would eat them normally as fried eggs. But just to harden the whites so it's not gross. So I do that. I cook, I, I put the two eggs in a pan, f fry them so that white hardens, and then scoop them out the pan with the egg still runny, and then chuck them on the rice, and stir it all up so the yolk covers the rice. And it tasted bad. <laughs> it, I don't know what I did wrong. It didn't taste bad. It just didn't taste... I, I think what I did wrong is I didn't have any soy sauce, and that meal really needs soy sauce. Like, that would... If I just had soy sauce, it would have been fine. But I do have this, like, Indonesian soy sauce, like, somewhere in the back of a cupboard. I, I know I had it. It's, it's actually in the back of the fridge. Um, I forgot what it's called. Kikap something? But what it is, is it's, it's a, a, a mixture of soy sauce and molasses. Um, so I was like, I guess that's the closest thing I have to soy sauce, so I put some of that in. But it's really sweet because it's molasses. I didn't think it through. I didn't think it through again. So I put that in, and it was a really sweet egg with right. It was not good. Don't don't do that. Just use regular soy sauce. So I went out and bought some soy sauce, and while I was at the shop buying soy, see, I thought about doing it while I was cooking, but it was like, I was like, fuck it. I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered to just go into the shop. So I ate, and then went to the shop, and bought this as well. <laughs> and bought some. Soy sauce, so now I can make soy sauce containing meals, which is a, a nice plus. But that's two meals today. My my failed tamagodon slash whatever the thing is with raw egg, I forgot what it's called. It was like halfway between those. Slash my failed chicken thigh something. Just throw chicken thighs at like why didn't I just put them in anything else? Why didn't I just do anything with them? Just make some rice or Put them in a fucking tortilla or something. Don't just eat chicken thighs on their own. What are you thinking? No, thank you. So I've got one more chance to redeem myself. I think... I don't, I'm not that hungry right now. I don't know how long I'm going to stay awake. I honestly have no idea when I'm going to fall asleep. So if I eat again, I don't know what I'm going to have. I have some, like... I have no idea. I have no idea. I have some spinach and ricotta tortelloni in the fridge that need to be used soon, because they're going to go out of date soon. I was thinking of doing that in a very simple garlic and olive oil sauce, just super simple, just keep it as minimal as possible. 
because I was thinking there's no way I can fuck that up, right? But knowing me, I'll burn the fucking garlic. So I'm going to be very careful I don't burn the garlic. If I do eat, I'll probably eat that. Man, it's been a crazy day, but a day of very productive Counter-Strike. And there was one good thing I made. Very delicious cup of tea. Don't often drink tea these days, because I have caffeine pills. But I thought, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to have a nice cup of Earl Grey tea. Bloody delicious, if I do say so myself. I mean, most of that wasn't on me, most of that is on the tea bag making company. Um, but, a very nice cup of tea. You know, I am British, I do like a good cup of tea. And honestly, I don't understand how the rest of the world survives without a good cup of tea. You know, Britain, Britain takes tea so seriously, we like invaded half the world to get tea. Alright, now let's get back to Magikoi and Counter-Strike. This is what we call fun in the industry. It's what we call... My back hurts. This is the problem, because I sit here to play Counter-Strike. Oh, there's no back to this. So I'm, I'm sort of end up being slunched, slumped over. Like a fucking gremlin. Like, and especially because as I'm playing, I'm like... Kind of line up shots, so I'm like, ooh, ooh. so yeah, you know, my my back starts to hurt after a while, but um, it's worth it for gaming.